hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to add or install angular.js in ASP.NET project if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates for this video tutorial I'm creating a new ASP.NET project go to file new project and from the web templates I'm selecting ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework I'm using 4.6.1 the application name is add angular.js project is the application name click ok and from the templates I'm selecting empty click ok and the project is created successfully let's open solution explorer now in this project, if you notice the scripts folder which contains only two JS files. Now I want to install the AngularJS functionality to this project. For that, right click the project name, manage nudget packages, click that one. And the first option browse, select that one and search for angular.js file and notice the second option is the angular.js select that one install click ok the angular.js files are installing in our project scripts folder angular.js files are added successfully into our project and also notice in the angular.js there is a green tick mark which means the angular.js application is installed successfully and now let's minimize the script we'll add a new web form page I click the project name add web form the item name I'm not changing the web page name click OK And here we got the source page of the newly created web form 1.aspx page. Now between the header section, when we want to implement the AngularJS functionality to this page, open Solution Explorer, expand the scripts folder, come to the bottom, we require the AngularJS file, just drag and drop on the source page. After that, in the form and do tags between I'm adding angular code this is the angular expression I'm adding 10 into 50 and this is the angular expression the output I'm expecting is 500 but the main important in the do tag I'm adding ng iPhone app is the angular application direct to and notice we got a small warning here and don't worry about that just we'll run this application the output we are expecting 10 into 50 which is 500 google chrome and here we got our output is 500 that's it 